What is up, everybody? Random, random man here, bringing you a special video recapping the 92nd Academy Awards, aka the 2020 Oscars, which were last night. I am still reeling from the ceremony, and I'm just going to cut right to the chase as the biggest news of the ceremony, Parasite, my favorite movie of 2019, in case you didn't know, won four Academy Awards. These included, of course, the inevitable Best International Feature Film Oscar, which I think was probably the biggest lock of the evening. Then Best Original Screenplay, which was presented before it, and that was my choice for what should and will win if you watched my uh, Predictions and Preferences video, but I was still surprised nonetheless that it took it home. Then it won, later in the evening, Best Director. And that completely turned the tide for me in seeing what kind of a night it would be. I and many, 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 many others predicted that Sam Mendes would win Best Director for 1917, but it turns out winning a bunch of the precursors didn't matter this year in order to win the Oscar, as Bong Joon-ho took it home. That was amazing. <laughs> that was just so amazing to see. And then... The fourth Academy Award it took home last night was the big one, Best Picture. <sighs> I absolutely lost my mind when that moment happened. I mean, just, 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 just watch. Just watch the following Snapchat stories of me reacting to all four of Parasite's Oscar wins. It goes to... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Don't you this? Oh, right. Yes! Parasite. Parasite. Yes! Of course. This is the first movie from South Korea to be nominated and... Yes! Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Yes! So yeah, there you go. Some authentic reactions from me. Shout out to my dad who gave some of his running commentary in the background of my stories. And he's the one you hear clapping in the background. He was rooting for 1917 as that was his personal favorite movie of last year, which I loved as much as he did. In fact, I adored that movie as well. That film walked away with three Oscar wins, even if it didn't win some of the bigger awards. And speaking of that, let's get right into what I thought of the other wins for uh, last night's ceremony. I'm not going to run down what I got right and wrong from my predictions and preferences video, as I would say that everything that I covered from that video, every category I should say I covered in that video, I was pretty pleased to see win even if it wasn't my absolute first choice to take the Oscar. So going down uh, the wins by every Best Picture nominee, of course, I've already run down all four wins for Parasite. Uh, Ford vs. Ferrari took home two trophies, one for Best Sound Editing and Best Film Editing. Jojo Rabbit took home one Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay. My personal choice was Little Women, but I did predict that Jojo Rabbit would take it, and I got that correct. I was absolutely happy to see him get that award. He's an Oscar winner now. Awesome. Uh, Joker took home two trophies, one for Best Actor. Joaquin Phoenix finally got his Academy Award and gave a really impassioned speech that got to me. And Joker also won Best Original Score for Hildur Gudna Dottir. She also gave a really moving speech. Uh, these were some of my favorite speeches of the night. Little Women took home one trophy for Best Costume Design. I was really happy to see that win. Uh, Marriage Story won one Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for Laura Dern. I loved her speech as well. That was so well-deserved, and she said that it was the best birthday present ever, as today, February 10th, is her actual birthday. So congrats, Laura, and happy birthday to you. 
As I also already mentioned before too, 1917 took home three trophies. Those were specifically in the best visual effects, best cinematography, and best sound mixing categories. I think those are all deserving technical wins. Roger Deakins now having won his second Oscar for best cinematography. And finally, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood won two trophies, one for best supporting actor for Brad Pitt. Ugh. My favorite film performance of 2019 took home the gold. Really, really happy for him. This is his second Oscar. His first Oscar he won was for producing 12 Years a Slave. And now Oscar number two is for acting. And then the other award that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood won was for best production design. Also really well deserved. So as you can probably tell, for last night's Oscars, it was almost a democratic kind of affair where uh, every Best Picture nominee walked away with at least one trophy with the big exception of the Irishman that had 10 nominations last night and walked away with zero yeah I felt kind of bad that it didn't walk away with anything this is now the second Martin Scorsese directed picture to have 10 Oscar nominations and walk away with zero the first one before this was Gangs of New York still it got across the board for some well-deserved nominations, and it doesn't take away from the fact that I still think that is an incredible film, one of my top 10 favorite movies of last year. Uh, that was also something my dad pointed out, too, because he adored that movie as well. He called it a masterpiece upon uh, first finishing it, but like I said, his favorite movie of last year was 1917. He was also rooting for Parasite, uh, like I was, as I already said, with him clapping. But yeah... The biggest takeaway again for me was that Parasite won those four Oscars and uh, I was just screaming and crying tears of joy when that final award came up and I can tell that everyone on Team Parasite was feeling the same way. It was just such a historic night and on my Instagram and Facebook I did a post uh, running down a bunch of either records or uh, firsts that Parasite achieved last night at the Oscars. Uh, as many as I was able to find before I posted it, uh, you can follow my social media links in the video description uh, to see what I said there as it was continuing on my celebration for Parasite and all of its wins. And speaking of wins, uh, the other wins last night that I was pretty pleased to see in the categories that I did cover in my predictions and preferences video uh, were Toy Story 4 winning Best Animated Feature Film. Really awesome there. Uh, American Factory winning Best Documentary Feature. Renee Zellweger winning Best Actress for Judy. This is now her second Academy Award and I felt it was a deserving one. Hair Love winning Best Animated Short Film. And I'm Gonna Love Me Again from Rocket Man winning Best Original Song. Really deserving wins right there. Love those wins. And speaking of that last category, uh, uh, Elton John actually performed that song along with the rest of the Best Original Song nominees across the ceremony before he ended up taking home that trophy with Bernie Taupin. And that leads me into what I thought of the rest of the ceremony as this wasn't just about the awards. It was a show in itself too. And it opened really, really jovially with Janelle Monae uh, starting off the evening by performing Won't You Be My Neighbor uh, while imitating the intro that Mr. Rogers would usually do on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and that was awesome. And then segueing into a show-stopping number where she performed on and off stage with a bunch of dancers in the background dressed up as characters from some other movies from last year that notably did not get Oscar love at last night's ceremony. Whether it was nominations or wins, I saw uh, some characters from Midsummer, Dolomite Is My Name, and uh, Queen and Slim uh, in the background uh, dancing. And I felt that those are some of the three movies that could have gotten some Oscar love last night or just in the rest of award season as well. But in any sense, that got the show off to an amazing start and it continued on with other musical performances across the night. As I mentioned, the nominees for Best Original Song performed across the ceremony, like Idina Menzel, with uh, other singers that did the dubbing for Into the Unknown for various nations across the world. That was really, really awesome to see 
The most memorable musical performance I felt of the night, though, was the surprise one that came after a musical montage of how song was used in film. Uh, there was footage of various movies with famous songs of theirs used in the background, and it ended with an instrumental version of Eminem's Lose Yourself from 8 Mile, and then it segued into Eminem performing the song live on stage. It was such a surprise indeed because years ago, over a decade and a half ago, almost two decades ago by now actually, um, Eminem refused to perform Lose Yourself at the Oscars when he was nominated for the award in 2003. And he did eventually win, but was not in attendance of the ceremony uh, when he did win an Oscar. First rapper to ever win an Oscar, first rap song to ever win an Oscar, among his slew of other awards that he won. So it was awesome to see him actually show up at any Oscars ceremony to perform that song, even though it was heavily censored. And that was actually the reason he didn't want to perform almost two decades ago at the Oscars when he was nominated. But in any sense, it was awesome. He really brought the house down and a lot of people from the audience that were shown giving their reactions were really into it. I so was too. And the last musical performance I gotta give a shout out to is the one from Billie Eilish, a uh, five-time Grammy winner now, Billie Eilish. She did a rendition of The Beatles yesterday uh, for the In Memoriam segment. A really sad and somber note there uh, at that point in time of the ceremony as we did lose quite a few notable members of the film industry during this past year, including one just earlier last week with uh, Kirk Douglas. Yeah, 103 years young, but what a life and career he had. And uh, of course, uh, Kobe Bryant uh, just over a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, it was great to remember them and others that we have lost for a brief moment there. And what wasn't brief, aside from the running time of the Oscars as usual, was how last year wasn't a one-time deal where we had the Oscars be hostless, as this is now the second year in a row that we have gone without a host for the ceremony. And I gotta say that for the second year in a row, I did not mind it one bit. We did get through the awards a lot quicker like we did last year, even though the show was far from short. It ran at about three and a half hours like last year's ceremony did, but I gotta say that Without having a host, it really streamlined uh, the ceremony and had the presenters either give off some more moments of levity or comedy, like Steve Martin and Chris Rock opening the show after Janelle Monae's musical number, and then everyone else in between presenting either uh, some uh, different montages or even just the awards themselves. I think that it ran along to a pretty outstanding degree, and that's pretty much how I sum up last night's ceremony outstanding. Whether it was Parasite's historic Oscar wins or just watching the ceremony all the way through, even beforehand with uh, the pre-show and the red carpet, this is something I look forward to every year. And I just had a really grand old time witnessing all of this occur. And yes, 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 as I have said multiple times before, the Oscars and awards for that matter do not mean anything in retrospect. But with Parasite really making a landmark stamp this year. It shows that the film industry and the Oscars as a whole are embracing more and different kinds of cinema. And that is something I am all for on top of taking one night out of every year to celebrate all things film. And yeah, j just from what you saw earlier with me reacting to Parasite and even for a lot of other wins last night, it just made me feel so full, literally and figuratively. I had a couple pretzel dogs and chicken wings before and during the ceremony, if you want to know what I meant with literally being full while watching and uh, everything in between. So there you go. My thoughts on last night's Oscars. As I say every year, until next year, thank you all, as always, for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment your thoughts on last night's Oscars, social media links in the description, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll catch you on the next movie review.